Okay, so basically I want to make a little website to host some of the stuff that I'm doing here. Um, I think something really simple and kind of old fashioned like Raymond's homepage. Eric Raymond's a real old school hacker from back in the day. Um, compatible with this viewable with any browser thing so basically just raw javascript css and html not much javascript ideally none but maybe for a couple of things it's basically just a place to source some links so let's make it happen i guess um let's see if i can get this stream management thing up on my phone Okay, so I guess I'll need some files. Uh, don't think I need any JavaScript yet, just uh, HTML and some styles. So I want a server running. Let's just check that that actually works. HTML. Five, yeah, great. It should all be pretty basic so we're not going to use any nonsense frameworks or anything because that would be insane for a website that's meant to be this light but you know people still do it so okay let's see if I can see something uh, localhost hopefully no is that server running on a different port yeah okay great so then we're going to want basically just a body and we'll do basically the same template or the same theme for each page so uh sidebar really which will contain a bunch of links i'll throw some in there now just to you know URL.com, yeah, why not? Um, give me something to play with, and then we can also have a div for the main body. I'm just call it main. And the P taking on there, there's going to be a header on each page, I would think. So. Something like that, and then on this first page, there'll be just a blurb. There, just so we can see that text renders. Awesome because I did a capital W. I keep doing that too. Okay, great. So the sidebar is not a sidebar and the main body is not a main body and it all looks terrible, which is kind of what we want at this point. I think I'm going to want to put in, yeah, I hate the, yeah. Okay, let's start with some CSS. V-split on this one. This is, that's not going to do anything if we don't actually. All right. Um, we're in Vim, not in Tmux here. Don't know why it's lagging today. Style. So 
plus equals um, what I call it, style dot CSS. Okay, then we'll make the background to the body red. Just check it's working. Shouldn't be that hard to make this work, but apparently it is. Let's find out why. That's a problem. That should still work. Didn't do it to order. No, we're also ignored due to bad selector. Yeah, 20 on 1. What's the CSS thing? Beautiful, bright red. That's what you want. See, now it's working. Okay, background color red. That's we don't want. Oh, yeah. maybe um, font family. It, it's gonna be mono. I don't think we need to go crazy and get some fancy fonts, right? Um, Size can be 16 picks. I don't like to be too small. H1. What size can be 32? Do not care about using EMs and things right now. Yeah, great. Now we've got that main. Uh, let's do the sidebar first. So the sidebar it can be one hundred percent width can be twenty percent. I think twenty percent is probably reasonable. And float left. Main is basically the inverse. I don't know that I need a float rule on it. So. It's not or the full height. Man, my computer does not like running OBS. But since that's a body tag, I mean. Yeah, it does need to float. Okay. Mm. 
Let's put some kind of line on the side of this. I think a dotted border on the side of main would be kind of all right. And then we can start putting margins and all that stuff. What a left one picks dotted um, be green for now. Work out the colors in a minute. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah, right. So that gives it extra space. Let's make that zero five percent. Get rid of the spacing on there a little bit. That's decent. And then padding lift, I don't know, 10 pixels, something like that. Yeah, that's probably plenty. What's the padding top on an H1 tag anyway? That's like a 20 pixel one, margin top maker. make it exactly 20 pixels so that I don't have to freak out and then sidebar margin top can be 20 pixels as well just at that kind of the same level and then what do we want to do I don't know if I actually like that border or not Get rid of it for a minute. So Raymond's got all this blah 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 text about him. It's got a date over there. I don't really care about the date. I'm going to want some real links down there, which are going to be going to well, the things that I want to store basically. Um, So I just changed the text inside them. Ah, I might as well change the whole thing. Yeah, what's the difference? Um, so snippets, because I want a place to source snippets, videos. Um, links. files I want to keep like my vim rc at that level and stuff like that config files snippets videos links and actual change to that and actual programs as well I guess um, yeah So this, yeah, all sorts of things. Uh, and then change this here to HTML, programs.html, snippets.html, videos.html, and links.html. Great. Now, do I want to link to like Twitch and YouTube and all that stuff? Probably, I guess. Ugh. Yeah. I'll fill that in after. Why I'm putting my, it's not like I actually, I'm just going to think that means anything different. So, my Twitch, my YouTube, great. Okay. How does it look? Still janky? Yes. Excellent. Oh shit, and they don't line up. I wonder why. 
There's not a break at each line. Yeah. So before they just happen to be the right length, that's interesting. Um, so I should probably pick like a couple of colors, I guess, and things, but who cares for now? What functionality do I actually want? Let's make those other web those other pages, I guess. So I'll cut the file. So touch HTML. Gram HTML, snippets, videos, and links. Because why not? Great, so it's just that and the style sheet. Why I've got no hop dot out is coming from the web server, which I didn't really intend to create the file here. I was meant to go to void, but whatever. Um, so to the index. Uh, and actually what I want is the style. So that's all that's here at the moment. Before we start filling it out more, I guess I should start picking some things. Like, so this is Raymond's homepage, which is basically what I'm copying, but I don't know if I can deal with just a like straight gray and white. Um, so just for my eyes sake, I might do a dark theme. Um, sort of like, The, the Twitter dark theme, actually. I like those colors. Or I guess uh, color picker. I only really need three, right? So a nice background. Let's say a cool background color. Something like that. Should work, and then a text color, which is going to be a warm text color, barely, right? Something like that. And then like a highlight color, or you know, like for links and things. And it looks that that link color is really not good enough. Okay, and that background color I do not like. So let's find a darker one. I don't want to be exact. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Should probably just be doing this in the browser. don't like the text decoration either. Not at all on the links. That's better. Yeah, much more my speed. So then I might put like some kind of goofy canvas. Like a visualization or something, I guess. on the main page but anyway let's fill that out a little bit we'll get some more lorem ipsum just so i can see how it looks with a couple paragraphs one paragraph I guess but at least it's real text yeah I mean that's basically all I want on the base page with a nice little image so 
I need to actually get an image. Let's not open that on the screen. I have no idea what's in there. So I will put it in the same folder, which is where. Dev stream. Website, website. Xorg.png. Okay, so where would I want that to be? I almost want it to always be in the top right corner, absolutely positioned. So maybe a whole separate div with its own style. Snippet, yep. It's called Picture of a Hitchhog from Pixlr now. There's already more styles than I'd like. It's just text doesn't really need this many lines of code. Um, salute. Yeah, okay, I need to um, put a fixed height on that and put a uh, <laughs> put some padding on this, this body. Um, so main width, um, that can equal to 60%. And then the sidebar can have a width of just 200 pixels flat. How about that? Uh, yeah, and then it's floating right, and then let's also make main float left. Yeah, and then we want that hedgehog to be offset. Um, let's say negative 100 in each. Yeah, maybe a little more on the top. And he's getting a bit close, but that's fine by me. Um, let's bring back the menu. Um, great, so that's basically the layout I'm going to want on each of the pages. And after this, it's just going to be customizing them slightly more specifically. I should change before I start copying the index page because I'll just cat that into the other pages. I'll change the um, link so that actually real. Um, otherwise I'll have to change it on every page and I'll ditch the text because that's going to be different as well so links to my github no youtube all right let's take that down um, oh no actually we just want non-private window <sighs> because then it's all saved mm -hmm. I think it's just youtube.com slash my name right I don't know let's find out uh, and I'm gonna different accounts so I've got a switch Computers used to be easier. I should do 
a video with like Algo and things like that. Algo was great. Or maybe it was just what it was like when it was Algo. Is that really what a link's meant to look like? Okay. I think I can just change it to be my name, right? How do I view my channel name? It can't be that long random string, right? It's got to be way less. Ah, oh, Google, you're killing me. Okay, I don't care about this at the moment anyway. So I'll get rid of those for now. These, I got blank. Don't care about that. Man, I love the doc command in Vim. I wish other editors would get it. I often use like Visual Studio and things at work and it's just a pain not having the doc command. There's things that are meant to emulate it like in and there are Vim emulators for Visual Studio, but never really seems to work at all. Okay, so that's what this rubbish page looks like at the moment. Already pretty different from Raymond's, but <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Um, get rid of that. Yeah, so we can copy it over now. They're all going to have that same style.css, so that's fine so cat index.html to uh, snippets.html videos programs links and config right so now if I actually click one of those links I should basically come back to a page that looks exactly the same but the URL will be different Yeah, or won't have changed at all. That's great. What did I do wrong? Oh yeah, it's got everything. Does it need to be RHEL? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the cutting only works for the first one in fish. I thought in fish it was different. So now they've all got the dummy text. Let's go back to the and none of them have a home. Yeah, okay, we can fix that later. Let's just go back to the home page and work on that. Okay, so I think I want to first embed the last video on the page when you get there. So I guess there's a way to do that in YouTube. It's a line of text after user. Okay. Okay. Vim index startup. Where's Firefox? Okay. Come on. Let's go to YouTube. My channel is a line of text after slash user. Okay, so. I don't know about iframes for this. It's not. Surely it's not a hard enough problem that you need to resort to iframes, right? It's probably not. 
probably yes. With 600, yeah, that seems reasonable. Controls use offenses. Change to space. Mm -hmm. Your channel, which I'm doing in a different screen because there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't want you to see. channel and it's a line of text after slash user I don't have text saying slash user Shan Apen Seems weird. Right, you shouldn't need to do all of that just to get the latest from a video. Okay, I'll try what I think my name is. <laughs> we'll see. Don't know that it's gonna work out though. still see the iframe, right? Yeah, that's kind of what you'd expect, right? So, I don't need JavaScript just for this. Must be on the YouTube. On YouTube page itself, a way to embed. I reckon if that's in the source. Then it should start playing my whole playlist. Apparently not. Really, a, that is annoying. Right, so gonna actually need to include a script tag to do this. What a waste of time. All right, fine, I guess. Am 
my channel ID. Let's go find that. Just a bunch of JavaScript for no reason. Ah, and jQuery. Yep, that's great. so that I don't have to have this rubbish on my page. Things even on the page. Just empty. Okay, we need to wait, I guess, until I get that channel ID. But I could probably go to my which and do it so if there's any live I could see that on my page and use that as the embed for now rather the YouTube one since it's actually going to be present all the time but if we go to twitch okay so the good thing about this is I can get rid of all this nonsense that and jQuery as well. I was including jQuery these days. Oh, Twitch links simple at least. I should change the name of the video that I'm currently streaming. It's not a Python email harvester. That was last time. link I reckon viewing that is slowing me down um. and the chat iframe which I think I want as well to close that window stop the lagging okay so Data get transferred, that's something. Enabled. D 
does that actually work? So I got the Twitch chat there, but I can't see that one. Why is blocking now? Private tab. Might be right. Whoops. I think it might just be because it's in a private tab. Firefox is being all protective of me. I guess that's kind of it, right? Okay. Still, ah, oh, it is letting it appear now. Wow, that's weird. It is if it's a private tab. I mean, clever, but actually pretty annoying. Um, I don't think I actually want. Oh, that could get a little um deep. I don't think I actually want the chat on there. We'll get rid of that. Page should actually load now. Network error, really? Okay. I want to fill out all this boring text on stream. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, cool. That's vaguely what I want. I don't think I want that text link though, so. Get rid of that, so now it's just, yep. The same page, that's great. Dom exception, wow, that's interesting. Oh, look at that, it's trying to get a access cookie, yeah, funny. Uh, this is why you don't trust anyone, okay. What should we put in here? Let's see if I can smell things right. I figure I'm going to need a home page for a bunch of this junk anyway. Um, you know, so some of the HTML5 stuff that I want to do may as well live somewhere i mean why not right um then i could uh do i really want to include javascript i'd really rather not have to have javascript if i don't have to but we are looking pretty far away from eric raymond already <laughs> um it can't be you know losing a bit of the simplicity having a video on there that's linking out is already slowing it down a lot compared to what I'd like but 
I should probably capitalize my country too. do I want that's probably fine for now for this page programs can link out to separate ones yes yeah, so I'm gonna want um, yeah okay that's fine for this page for now let's go into programs there which looks basically like this did two seconds ago uh, and we'll create a dummy program as well, like, um, I don't know, some canvas or something as an example, as a test. Um, make dev programs. Yeah. Um, So then let's get rid of all this dummy text, the basic description, I guess. Some of those programs so here we are. For now they can just be an unordered list. Um, so I don't know as a dummy or an example what um, might as well be an A Canvas test HTML. I can just be test. Blank, don't need that. And then the test can be. And that can be the end of the list if I can learn to type anyway and we'll put five of them just so I can see how it looks with a few now they're gonna get that weird color because uh yeah so I think if it's an L I A Is that purple? CE9 FF5, why not? I don't know why I always do the S capitals and everything else lowercase, but. Yeah, that's a bit brighter for in here. Actually, I like that. I might just. That is the default for everything. Yeah, that's way nicer. So test program. Let's see what it's like. I'm gonna make these. Well, what I'm planning on doing. Minimax, noughts and crosses.
Mac of chains in JavaScript. And I don't know. get it from scratch why not Markov and scatter Ugh. two of those I'm gonna have to use you should my canvas for that's annoying Okay, so that's that programs page. Okay, so now we need to go and create a test program in the programs folder just to make sure this actually works. I think I got a test uh, HTML test program style. Great. Uh, let's create a uh, script and go to the bottom of the body. I guess a canvas um, ID equals canv width equals 400. Can I do that? I think I might be able to. Let's make it success actually. This can be white, and background color for body can be something else. What color is that? I'll just put a border color that's the purple around it. C9F5. Center the little square, I guess. Uh, doesn't end in that. Okay. Um, uh, display. Block. Great. And then I guess in the canvas we should. make some JavaScript do something. Um, yep. Come on, Firefox.
five. Great, and then I guess let's do some interesting pattern or something. Yes, I don't know. What, what can I do? I'll just draw some random dots. Um, what's the random? Random integer range JavaScript. Yeah, that's right. Let's start random. And then times it by one. How many dots should I have? thousand or something. Function looks handy. Say one thousand, why not? Snippets don't work in HTML because uh, that's annoying. If I equals zero, I is less than. No, less than amount. I don't actually need the iterator, do I? Because I'm just going to draw random each time, so. Minus and then take this draw and we'll put in random inches in there. Like if I put them both the same, then it'll always draw in a line, which would be weird. Um, so get random. Zero and six hundred because that's how wide the thing is. Six hundred minus ten because that's how wide the thing is. Plus ten. Y is the same. Y. Let's draw some random dots on a screen. Cool. Is pretty random. Thousand's kind of a nice amount, really. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. What else do we need? Um, so programs works vaguely. So snippets hasn't been done. Snippets is going to be strange because it's going to be linking out to. I think I just wanted to link to the raw tech, the the raw files. I don't want it to actually. because I want to be able to curl the files into programs basically or cut them into files from curl um, and I want it to be kind of memorable or guessable so well I guess that should be fine okay so we'll go to snippets um, folder Come on. Okay, this long lab has gotta go as well. just a uh, ul with a few allies and some a tags which will be the file names so snippets I'm going to need a folder which does not exist yet um, ping dot c or something like that. Um, because I really like having like a base CSS thing that I can use for a bunch of things so oh another one that I really want to put up is Some game loops, basic game loops and things. You know, like a snake example or something. Um, especially the HTML5 canvas. It's just so counterintuitive to me. I really want to just have my basic loop and reference that all the time so something like that would be great and then it should look vaguely normal yeah okay great and then I'm just gonna need that snippets folder so then I can copy Is that up three? No. Into here. And I should be able to click it. Ah, oh, I put the inbound blank. Yeah, which I think I actually want on this one. So yeah, great. And then be able to grab that and put that straight into a file or cut it um, straight into a file. It's just going to be awesome. Put the rest in a bit and then videos I do not have any videos on now this is going to be links to basically specific YouTube videos um, I'm not going to actually host them because why would you do that these days um, I 
don't think I even want to embed them really that just seems kind of annoying to me everybody watches things on YouTube I'd rather just go to YouTube so um, I don't know some write some copy text um, that I, I don't know, me, things I don't really program my day-to-day -day work. Yeah, nothing too exciting, right? Um, stick with this previous pattern, I should have just, um, <laughs> Added this in as part of the snippet, but that's all right. Uh, this one's the only one where I'm actually um, going outside of the website, so. the links and there's only really what, one one other one to fill out if I can remember what's in the index anyway yeah it's just the links and links I think I'm not too worried about okay where do I see the links to the videos on YouTube anyway folder I don't actually need it for this one written hopefully it actually goes to the video it does yay for me okay remembers how far through I am but that's fine okay and then links why do I even have a links one I can just delete that out. Yeah. Okay, so delete that, add a home one to the top, which takes back to the home. Yeah. work if I just put a slash in there I don't think it does right it's annoying it 
does, but I need that be on. What other ones are that programs? a hard refresh for this videos I see the break after it like it's definitely got one stupid fucking thing ah oh, really is home lowercase do I care that home's lowercase I don't think I do um so programs works test program works videos yep snippets yep um will work but i don't want to test it right now because it'll start loading the video which will make me lag um yep 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 okay great just add all of this junk. Great. I think that's all of the basic stuff. So we can start on the actual programs, I guess. Okay, let's morph this test program into something. Maybe for now, so CD programs. I mean, I could break it out into like actual different files, probably makes sense. I wonder what, at what point this is gonna lag. How efficient is that? It's looping through every one of them and then just minusing one, so it shouldn't really. Oh, wow, that's weird. Why isn't it touching the side? I mean, it's fast. So, oh yeah, because it, it draws from the top left corner anyway, doesn't it? So I don't need the minus the the plus ten there. It's interesting the way it doesn't quite fill out on the edges, but it does on all of the internal surfaces. I guess it's more likely. That's strange. How full is ten thousand? Not quite full. Um, so then let's also draw uh, some text, which can be my name over the top of it. Um, and we'll give it some tilt and stuff like that. Uh, and the color can be the same as that background color 12. So hash, was it twelve, twelve, twelve? Yep. Yeah. 
and we'll put it between 100 and 500 we want it I don't know, that's going to write it just in the same spot every time because I'm not randomizing it. Um, So the position you have two lets as well in this case because we want it to like actually fit. It's going to need yeah, 150 and 450. So randomly in the middle, kind of. Um, X. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to rotate text, right? Yeah, and then what was that looking like? So math.pi times two divided by i times six. So if I was to say 1,000, 2,000 divided by 7, ah, sorry, divided by 10, where did I get 7 from? Just gone. <laughs> Never to be seen again. All right. Did I get that backwards? So 450 is how far down it is. Is it coming out to be the same thing every time? All right, so it should be zero.
that makes more sense. I won't actually do anything. <laughs> no, it does not. There and four. That's something gonna be like four amount. That's not. It's not gonna be. I mean, it's random. It's just. There's only four possibilities in it. Which isn't really what I want. It's gonna be a right way to write the text on an angle. I really just come to the same. <laughs> hmm. Ah, whatever. We'll leave it as is for now. It's an hour and a half. So let's ditch that. Ten thousand is an interesting amount. Let's make the amount random as well. Say a hundred ten thousand average five thousand. Kind of an interesting amount, but it could be low. Well. It's console log as well. Hmm, only four eighty. So where's gaps? It's kind of weird. I think it'd be m more random. It almost looks evenly distributed, but I guess random, you know, 2000 times is like that. Okay. Whatever, that's the base of the site done. Anyway, we can do the rest later. Why is that? It should have home. Yeah, okay. That's the base done anyway. That'll work for now, and then we can fill it all out later. Cool.